This is a certified hood classic. Look, um, normally I like to start the videos off with <clears throat> some funny stuff, some positivity, but today I just I just want to talk to y'all real quick. I swear it's going to be quick. I'm just struggling, bro. Like, I've been struggling with, I guess you could say addiction, you know, and, and it's... It's got me. It's it's been, it's you know I've been trying to get over it. I stopped smoking weed, you know, and and I did stop drinking, which was cool. But you know, it's just one thing that just has me, you know, and it's just for for the life of me. I've been trying and trying. I even been to support groups, and you know, it's just I just need some help. I just need some motivation from y'all, and I'm ready to come out and say it. Y'all, I'm a chronic honey bun eater. I eat honey buns, bitch. I can stop. I have been eating it for a while, y'all. It is just like I'm trying to lose some weight. I've been working out. And then there you go. Looking at me in the stove. Mmm. You like ass? Mmm. You like honey? Mmm. Honey buns. And it's just, to me, it's for me. It's just for me. And I just can't. And it's like lately... I've been seeing them, and I'm like, ah, you know, not today, not today. But then they call me. They call my name. They, Quizzy, Quizzy, I know you paying for gas, but would you like some of this? You know what I'm saying? Stop. I apologize for anybody if I may have offended anybody. But I have stopped smoking, bro. I ain't smoked in a minute. Anyways, today we're getting ready to write some more King of the Hill. I apologize for... All that craziness, man. Look, y'all, do your boy a favor, man. Hit that like button. Go down below. Subscribe to your boy. All right. I'm going to eat another honey bun while I wait. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Just... Why do I do this? <clears throat> Here we go. Look at him. Hank is just so damn boring sometimes, bro. Like, what are you doing? I'll rip. You just boring and shit, bro. Come on. Look at him. One comes in a little slower. Hug glass. I have done it, Hank. I Mr. Have Anderson done looking it. ass. I have gotten. T time out. Hank looked like a. Uh, excuse me. Hank looked like a sentinel. That's what he looked like. Mr. Anderson. Uh, that's look at the back of his neck. Look, no, go look at look at the back of his neck. That's a sentinel neck. Someone to respond to my letter. You see, Peggy, you just needed to find a pen pal with as much free time as you have. No, Somebody who's born. Song lyrics to every major country music star, and I finally got this from Mr. Randy Travis. Cause you're boring. Travis? Oh, okay. Dear Who? songwriter, we regret to inform you, blah, 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 legal reasons, blah, blah, I've never read it. They shut her ass down. <laughs> they said, look, 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 I don't know what you own, but we will sue your ass. It's a blah, case. Blah, blah. Okay. Once again, good luck with your songwriting career. Signed, Rob Readers <laughs> okay. of the law firm Readers and Anatole. Huh. Okay. Kind of sounds to me like Randy Travis's lawyer sent you a rejection letter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hank, they have to say that. Travis no, they loved don't. my lyrics. He called me a songwriter. He said I have a career in front of me. And you know what? He is right. I don't know if you're just on the level of delusion that you just can't come back from. Or if you were just looking at the positives out of life. Because, Peggy, like, that's an amazing way. That's an amazing superpower to look at the positives out of life and see positive in any negative situation. And that's, you also have to be a bit delusional to do that in every situation. Just a bit. Nothing wrong with being a little delusional. We all are. Look, you thought you wasn't going to see my feet. You thought that. Yeah, I pulled it up. It was a little bit. You you thought that? Imagine I ain't even got nothing on under there. <laughs> hey, bro, what if I was? What if I did all my videos butt naked, bro? You wouldn't even know. <laughs> you wouldn't know. I just had the top part of my shirt and shit. <laughs> no drawers on. <laughs> if y'all found that out, bro, would y'all stop watching? <laughs> would you stop watching? If you like, you if you found out, like, bro. You know, that video I was laughing on, he wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> you, would, you would never know. I'm wearing pants, bro. I got pants on. I got pants on this time. <laughs>
<laughs> you would you would never know. <laughs> oh shit. For our church bus trip. All right. And we've decided to go to Country Music Fanfare in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, All right, Carmen. That was my suggestion. She didn't yell at church. Where's Thank the other you, preacher? Assistant Pastor Rayburn. For those okay, of you who don't Pastor. know, I am Peggy Hill. And Fanfare is a four-day festival where we will get to meet our favorite country music stars, including my friend, <clears throat> Randy Travis. That's not your friend, bro. You lying. Okay. She lied. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Amen. <laughs> Why do making so many faces and shit look like Simon from Yogg's cast? Boy, get your ass you on. Diggy, diggy hole, ugly ass boy. I'm finna get it on your Tommy, shit. I'm gonna miss you so much. I got you this phone card at the mall. It's good oh. for 10 minutes and has Tony Danza's picture on it. Oh, what does that mean? Tony, what is a phone girl. card? Buddha broke the mold when he made you. Oh. Okay, people. Okay. A warning. Please see me for your seat assignments before you get on the bus. I was planning to let people sit wherever they wanted. Like you <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You just want to just control every damn thing. Like stop. You know what I'm saying? Like just get some help. Get a life. <laughs> Church is not a field trip. As a substitute educator, I know field trips, and as a country songwriter, I also know Nashville. Um, Peggy, <laughs> I'm the assistant it's pastor Nashville. of this congregation, and I did go to Divinity School in Nashville, where I wrote a hymn or two. Yes, but you did Man, not. You ain't do shit, Fred. And I did. <laughs> On the bus! Right. Oh. Bro, how is she, how is she, look, bro, grab your nuts. Like, how is she telling you what she gonna do, and you the assistant, you need to take charge, bro. Like, it's not, it doesn't have, it's not a man or a woman thing, it's, He's in charge. He need to take charge, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, oh, nah, nah, we not doing all that. Everybody can sit where they want. Now, having assigned seats ain't that bad, but what if you get assigned next to somebody you don't want to be around? You know, just like first come, first serve. Y'all line up. Y'all find where y'all want to sit and sit there because the bus ride going to be long as hell. Good morning, fanfarers and fanfaries. I will be calling out various highlights of our 14-hour oh. trip to Nashville. Oh, our hell no. Sit your the ass down. the largest fiberglass raven, which is also the largest raven I have ever seen. No, first stop, your big ass feet. We going to the bowling alley. Lossianica feet. She had long ass feet. Those feet were bigger than mine. I have a size 11 and a half. She has a size. What the hell are you doing with them? That's the name of the shoe. It's just like... What the hell is this? Just on the shoe size. But the numbers are backwards. The numbers come backwards. That's how big her foot is. They don't even believe it. This Miller, who came closest with a guess of 61. The number I was thinking of was 64. Yes! Get a ha! Uh, glass. Hank, is she you ain't shit but a nerd. Counselor through the entire state of Arkansas. <laughs> oh, come on, Dale. She's just having fun. Think of another number, Peggy. I ain't mad at him, bro. You supporting your wife, bro. Who who could be mad at that? Hello, Mr. Super Newts and Pone. Is Connie there? Connie? Uh, she's not <laughs> here. She's Lying. Not. Where is she? If Connie wants to go swimming all afternoon with Chain Wasana Song, that's her business. Enjoy He's your lying. Day, best of all. Hey, he be Stoney lying. Man, you've got eight minutes left. Boy, he be lying. <laughs> Let me be the first to welcome you with a little song. Bobby Chill. Piggy Hill. Fanfare can be. No, God. Bro, I hate this shit. Like, I hate musicals, bro. Like, I don't want to hear unfair, it. Unfair, but if you don't want your turn in a lot, well, that's unfair. Hell no. Nah. Thank you. Yeah, now hey, we all hey, looking hey. at you. <laughs> I hope you brought your appetites. We are having Spa Peggy and Meatball. Did Who? she say Spa Peggy? Well, but Peggy is a lot like spaghetti. I'm not sure what Peggy does different. She's getting eight out at a nice restaurant. YouTube. <laughs> Forgot I had to get this approved. <laughs> She's getting at a nice restaurant is what I would admit. Now that YouTube's gone. She's getting eight out. They're eating her out. <laughs> this spot, Peggy. What are you talking about? If anything, but it's the one dish she's kind of made her own. 
Bro, spaghetti and meatballs, bitch. What are you talking about? She does it with ramen noodles and shit, bitch. Just stop. <laughs> just stop. Everybody in that line, man. Well, hey there, cowboy. Now, who's this pretty gal? Your wife? <laughs> we're not married. We're just sharing a tent. No, and we're cousins. Can you yeah, just you made that weird. <laughs> we'll be on our way. Whoa. What's the trouble, Bubble? Oh, I... that's, that's, stop. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. Stop. What's the trouble, Bubble? What's the trouble, Bubble? You're a freak, too. You get that title. You get that title. Shit, connecting just like that. Come up a little bit. Well, actually, mine is not too far off from that anyway. I've never had the motorcycle, must the motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's kind of like from the 60s. Ain't it? I think my girlfriend left me. No, she did. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be just a little while. We got a situation here. Oh. So every time you call Mr. Superfund, oh, they put them you on hold with his chain fella. He said for the first time in her life, Connie's actually happy. That sounds like her daddy is using his chain to yank your chain. Kicks is right. Heck, I got a teenage gotcha. daughter at home, and every time her boyfriend calls, I say she's out with Brad Pitt. I know that's right. And I'm going to do the same thing, too. To call for my daughter and shit. You, uh, you know, she moved away. She moved away, bitch. She moved away. Oh, shit, I can't even do that. They got cell phones. She texted me the other day. Daddy? What? Don't even know how to spell daddy. She spelled it backwards. She spelled it A-S-S-H-O-L-E. I, th I thought that was daddy. It might have been. Where the hell is my belt? No, <laughs> Well, it will be crazy as shit. Nah, but she do be spelling shit. She be spelling shit gibberish. I though. love Brad Pitt. Your daughter is I love her. I love you, Izzy. No you watching plan. this. Don't you you shouldn't be. Connie and I are back together. Matter of fact, Izzy, if you're watching this, look, I'm going to whoop your really butt. Him. You too, AJ. Travis, just like on the I'll album cover. Oh, take a picture of me giving him my lyrics. Someday my fans will want to remember this moment. You're going to give him Wait. something else. <laughs> oh. oh. I'll take my sandwich now. Oh. Damn, he didn't waste no time. They stole her shit that fast. <gasps> wow. That's crazy. You know, there is a line here. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn! You stole my song! Damn! Okay. World star in this bitch. Okay. Okay, bruh. That hey, look, Peggy. I didn't even know you had it in you, sweetheart. I really, yes, I did. She beat up some some girl in a meat freezer, didn't she? Remember in season one or some shit, bro? Dun dun, it's your tall ass. I swear. No, no, no. <laughs> say no, law you don't and order. Understand. I am not the bad guy. Hank, will you say something? Why he did can't. you punch Randy Travis? This is just the way God made me. I wrote that. Excuse me, fellas. Hold up a second. I'm Mr. Travis's manager. Uh -oh. Randy would like to speak to the lady. Oh, really? And we completely understand if you don't want to give us an autograph. <laughs> he knocked her ass I have out. proof of your thievery. You said I had a promising songwriting career. Now, how do you read? Uh, he probably didn't even know that happened. I'm probably going to be putting my foot in my mouth, which, by the way, is right here, and I'm not going to literally do it. You, you're a freak. You're a freak. But, nah, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, honestly, he probably got writers. Uh, somebody probably seen that and gave it to him. I don't plead anything, ma'am. I never saw your song. This is a form letter from my guard dog lawyers. If I had a dime what? for every song a fan sent me, I'd be Dolly Parton rich. Well, that explains what? it. Thank you. Not to me. It no, it doesn't. You think this is the first time two songwriters came up with similar lyrics? Stand by your man, Tammy Wynette. Understand your man, Johnny Cash. Okay, all right. No, no. That that might be, but that's a hell of a coincidence. It depends on when the song was recorded. If she sent her letter in beforehand, the song was recorded, then by all means, I, I think that that was probably her shit because that's a hell of a co coincidence. You sent, you sent, we send the letter to you. It just magically, you know, because I know, I don't know how long it takes for them to record a song and then for it to be playing. Cause it does got to get mastered and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. It just depends, bro. I mean, nowadays you can, you can record a song, 
uh, mix a song so well that you don't even really need mastering. So you record and mix a song in a day, and it be on iTunes by tomorrow. It depending on what connects you know. You can have this shit on iTunes by tomorrow. You can have it on YouTube by the end of the night with a music video shot and edited. That's literally how fast you can do shit these days. But I don't know how you could have done it. This, this, them, well, woo, 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 woo. Yes, but this is just the way Didn't God get it out. <laughs> is uniquely Peggy Hill. You see, I grew up in Montana, and I had very big feet. I still do. <laughs> and when other kids would make fun of me, my grandma told me to tell them, this is just the way God made me. And yeah, today, stupid. I am able to pass <laughs> oh. that wisdom on to my students. You see, I am a boggle champion and a substitute teacher. Good for and you, We don't TV care. <laughs> Hank, we don't care. What do you do for a living? I sell propane and propane accessories. Huh? Well, ha it happens if you need a grill or set up. Uh, propane salesman. Now that's something that would make a good song. I have been saying that for oh, years. No. <laughs> Me too. No, you have not. He buttering Hank up Abby, to get rid of Peggy. two of your mom's apple brown buddies. Now... I know math magician, but there's only okay. one here now. The math magician, I can see how you might jump to that conclusion given last night's cupcake incident. And yes, I did take the apple brown Betty. Yeah, but you it's for Brooks ass. and Dunn to thank them for easing my pain. Dinner! Bro, Lord, that, it'll be all thank right. You for the food we're about to eat, for the quick moving line at the Sawyer Brown booth. For the calm skies. And please, God, please go. punish Randy Travis for stealing my song. Bro, you can't just add that into the prayer for everybody. That was very, that was inconsiderate. Like, that's like one, two, three. That's, that's like over 30 blessings that you just sent up in the air talking about some hurt Randy Travis. Bro, you just tapped into that line. No, you have to call back later and ask for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit God on the direct line and be like, hey, God, you know, away from the group chat. Uh, you know, what we what, what we going to do about this? You know what I'm saying? You can't just piggyback in there, three-way your ass in that car. Bro, come on now. Yeah, that was a bunch of bullshit. Right now, strained her vocal cords, cheering on her team at the celebrity softball game. Her team still lost thanks to a costly error by Garth Brooks. Oh, as pretty shut as faces, up. We've got someone almost as pretty, Mr. Randy Travis. Almost as pretty, bro. Come on. I'm now. surprised Randy Travis isn't still at the game stealing <laughs> what, what is he, Muhammad oh, Ali? Come on, Peggy. This is our vacation. I'm saying because he he used to call himself. He be like, I'm, I'm pretty, you know what I'm saying, yada yada. I'm not calling him pretty, you know what I'm saying. I just for anybody that just doesn't make that uh, connection, you know what I'm saying, it that's not what it is. It, yeah, he's a be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. I, no, maybe he call himself. I don't know what he actually. I don't know where I got that. Can't we just have a good time? Look, you can have. It's not kind of weird. I'm not being like. weird though. I am gonna sit here Save and boo. somewhere. But a couple of beers help the situation. Boo! 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 Sure would help me. <laughs> Go get you a beer, man. Careful where you step, Lisa. That John Michael Montgomery's been riding that horse of his around here. Whoa! What? Damn. Dad, gum it, John Michael. Clint, I slipped I some want a shit. Horse for my birthday. Oh, you got it, honey. I what? You literally slipped in some shit. I want a horse. Really? Like, come on, bro. I Emotional got ass. I done matching fanfare water bottles, but I didn't have $40. This $40. This brown Betty was priced to move. Boy, Just stuff it back in the pan. Nobody will know the difference. Yes, they will, and that is disgusting, you nasty freaks. That's nasty. Horse has been outside. Outside has been outside. You get what I'm saying? Worms. Dirt. Republicans are in the grass. Democrats are lurking around. Shitting on the ground. Stop. Okay. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's not to offend anybody. <laughs> Popping out of grass. Ah, oh, it's a Republican. What you know? Just a joke. It's just a joke. Oh my God! It's a wild Donald Trump. Could be a wild Obama. There you go. See, I had Obama into it. It's fine. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Who is he from? Hawaii. I think he was from Hawaii. Excuse Honolulu. me, Honolulu. You mind if I step in front of you? 
Well, I've been waiting to. Oh my God, you're Charlie Daniels, Mr. Yep, Daniels. That's me. I, I'm a Joe huge ass in the fan. Back. <laughs> it would be an honor to let you cut in front of me. It would be an honor for you to get the hell to the back of the line. You would have had me messed well, up. I appreciate it. I tell you what, won't you let me get you something too? Oh, never mind. You you can hop in front if you need. You know, I, I was just standing there, but it was just spaced in, in the front. You can hop in and go in. Uh, I would like the uh, 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 two uh, cheese pizzas, two slices, and a uh, uh, strawberry uh, washdown. What are you drinking? Oh, an Alamo, please. Uh, let me have a Coke with no ice and an Alamo for my new friend here. Oh, that's That'll nice. That'll be $4, Slim. Boy, you would have had me up. <laughs> I'd have been like, bro, I'm not paying for shit. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Hey, this next one's got a little story behind it. Uh -oh. When I was a kid, you see, I spent a lot of time in Montana. Cold, cold winters up there. Cold, and when cold. I was about nine or ten, my feet were growing just a He lying, y'all. He lying. What? <laughs> I mean, I had big feet. We're talking like bozo size, folks. Oh. <laughs> See, my dad, who I might add, was a substitute school teacher, told me, oh. this is just the way God made me. Hank ain't even hearing them. But, but, but that's my story. Calm Dude, down, Peggy, calm cool. down. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, yeah, I got to skip that because, you know, it's just the copyright be crazy and shit, man. Sorry for anybody that's watching on the Patreon. My bad, bro. My bad. I kind of don't even want to hear it. I have a <laughs> big face and a long ass nose. Called and Connie's dad answered. I disguised my voice and said I was from Who's Who and American Middle School students. He put me right through. That only okay. works once. And thanks for the brown Betty. Thanks what is a brown Betty? Betty? All right, let's dig into that apple Betty. Hey, get your own. The boy gave it to me. It was meant for both of us. Well, you kept the sweater that and? gal from Syracuse gave us. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to share a sweater, Kate? You want me to rip it in half? Mm, this is good. It's a mm, this is good, buddy. Ah. Oh, no. Honey, where were it got you? grass Travis in it. He told my story. He said that it happened to him. He stole Boggle. He stole Montana. He stole my big feet. Shh. Who it said did. that? Who? Who said that? All right. <laughs> let's go outside. Right, bro. Just I can't chill out. Believe you are siding with Travis. I, I am your wife. Look, I believe I get it, you believe you wrote that song, and I believe you believe he stole your story. But that doesn't make come it on, true. Come on, Hank. So come I'm on, Hank. Come on, Hank. And you put the drinks on top of the trash can. You a f bum. Why would I make this up, Hank? Well, Why? Peggy, you've got a pretty high opinion of yourself. Oh, and I, and I should have a low uh, opinion of myself? Is that what you're saying? No, no, not at all. It's just She's that you've spin done right so now. much in your life, you don't need to take credit for things you haven't done. Ooh. Like writing that song and, you know... Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Other stuff. What other stuff? Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> like Call, dinner. Don't say I it, mean, I... I think it's cute that you call it Spa Peggy and Meatballs, but... Oh, yeah. You know, it's just... Noodles and tomato sauce and balls of meat. But right, it's the spaghetti, bitch. <laughs> Stop taking credit for spaghetti. Okay, I I support that. It was about time she 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 learned that, and you know she kind of put herself. It's like the boy who cried wolf. She put herself in this position by doing all this damn taking credit for shit that she don't need to take credit for and lying, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, come on, y'all. There's Peggy we talked about. We know that she ain't shit with them big ass feet, but she's right this yes, time. I add just the right amount of sugar and grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, when we were setting up camp, you said that in your opinion, Kindling Slavery is with the extra best steps. wood to start a fire. Well, isn't it, Hank? Of course it is, but it's not your opinion. It's a known fact. And now right. you say Randy <laughs> Travis is taking your childhood and calling it his own. It's getting crazy. Oh, so damn. You tripping. Crazy? Well, it's gray area. I told you the truth. He said it's a gray if area? I am lying. May God strike me down right now. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to look up. You ain't lying. Ha! You ain't lying, man. Hank just didn't hear it. Calling the sparrow. Hi, Dave. 
Use code Hi, Dale. Dale. <laughs> I'm Mockingbird. Sorry, Dale. Oh, <laughs> hey, Peg Gwen. Where's the big bird? Hank and I are spending the rest of fanfare apart because of Randy Travis. He I understand. Back to his trailer and lied to my face. I'd like to spit on that trailer. Ah, what would that solve? Hey, but he's probably the right person to get some revenge and probably the wrong person ex at the same time to carry it out. Just in the same damn sentence, in the same scenario, the right person to do it with, the wrong person to do it with as well. We ought to wrap the trailer in toilet paper. I think Here I have go. some left over from the Billy Ray Cyrus job. Here we yes, go. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Devious All ass, right, bitch. Just one more, then I've got to <laughs> go find Peggy. Everybody smile. You're not smiling, Mr. Brooks. You don't got to smile. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, damn. Mocking because that's this shit. is the Penguin. We are at 50% tissue coverage. Morale is high. How look at it. Look at they. I love them because they ain't good friends at times, but then sometimes they just come through. Sometimes you just need friends like Boomhauer, bro, that just, he could, he could be anywhere, but he'll come through for you, bro. We'll an autograph made out to all of us. It will be our alibi. Out. Okay, Bill. Throw it, throw it back over. I did a minute ago. It should have landed by now. Oh, boom, Howard, give me a boost. Um, shut up. No, nice. well, okay. I'll get it. What? Do you see it? What? No! Oh, they stupid. <gasps> hey, just, you just don't, you have one job sometimes. I just be like, how do you get yourself in the situations? But then you got dummies like him. Oh. <laughs> Damn, Homer Simpson. <laughs> well, it never would have happened if he had stolen my song. Go, bro, go. Got it. <gasps> hey. Uh, oh, hey, no. Help. Get me out of here. Get, help me get out. Bitch, you better stop me. And boy, you better get the swimming, boy. You're going to be a fish. Oh, no. Somebody called semen, bro. And swallow. And remember, not I one I hope you did not kill him, bro. As I like to say, what This would be a dark episode done. if he did. Oh, Peggy, where have you been? We dumped Randy Travis's trailer in the lake. You idiot! You just, just so stupid. You just so damn stupid, you bald-headed. Homer Simpson, Cartman face, biscuit chin, uh, uh, inner tube, neck-having bitch. You just... Stupid, you beady eyed, fat nose, no hair having one, two, three, four, five lines as, as an eyebrow. You don't do shit. He don't do shit sometimes. I'm I'm sorry, Bill. <laughs> I'm sorry. That uh that was cold. That was wrong of me. That Walmart watch he got on. Just stop. Hey, okay, you, we, I'm sorry, Bill. That was stole. sad. I don't. I should have said that. <laughs> Look at handsome he Randy Travis. He just don't Travis. do shit. I'd like to see his <laughs> chiseled face when he goes back to that trailer. Where are you looking, Dale? Randy Travis's booth is empty. Nuh uh I got his autograph. It's our oh alibi. Oh my god. This says, "Best regards, the Oak Ridge Boys." It, you need oh the one with god. the beard. The door's locked. I can't get is he? He's talking about the door's locked. Oh, God. Oh. What are you gonna oh. do, though? Oh. Boy, can't even see. Damn, please, Hank is cold. Please, please be okay. What do you Why mean, please be okay? Paper and then drive his own trailer into the lake. <laughs> Puzzling. Puzzling. <laughs> I get it. Secure it. Secure it. <laughs> How deep is this lake, too? Damn, boy. Hey. Okay, hey. Shout out to Hank. Shout out to Hank. Shout out to Hank. Because this is some save the world next level Mr. and Mrs. Smith shit right here. This is some... What do you mean? Okay. And then his friends was running in after him. I, man, I, I love the guys, man. I love the guys. I was taking a nap. Trailer must have come off the blocks. Next year, yeah. I'm going to hire somebody to set it up. Shut up. Hank, I am so, so sorry. 
<laughs> yeah, that don't look good. <laughs> you almost I killed her, man. It was an accident, but I don't know. She thinks Randy Travis stole her song lyrics, and maybe that sent her over the edge. Hank, Reverend Schuler wants to deliver a sermon that came straight from my Christmas card. He finna say some bullshit, y'all. I know it is. I know he is, because his uh, belly go over his pants a little too, but he got it tucked in, so it's kind of just, yeah. I didn't say throw something. a rock through the Crystal Cathedral. Well, I might have. That was some bullshit. That was some straight up bullshit. Made that was things no worse. I said some <clears throat> awful things to her, Pastor Larry. I told her she's not as great as she thinks she is. Better she hears it from someone she loves. Because <laughs> he feels the same Randy way. Travis. I, no, what am I saying? She'd have to be crazy. But maybe the fact that her husband Ugly didn't ass. support her could have... No, Peggy's not crazy. <laughs> she's right? not. She's not. She's just disturbed. <laughs> she's just very disturbed. So, Doc. In that was opinion, the wrong person to ask. He shared some of the brown Betty. Would he have gotten quite this sick? Ronnie, please. I'm very ill. Oh, What was sick. in that brown Betty anyway? Um, I don't know. My mom made it. Oh, no. Hey, you, you, you oh, there? God. Randy Travis is going to bring Uncle Hank up on stage any minute to thank him for saving his life. The life? Why are you talking like this is really something that is a big deal with your film Sloan? Look, she talk like she plays a banjo. Like, come on, bro. Like, just stop it. Well, Hank doesn't What's want me anywhere you? near the final jam concert. He said he was afraid I'd take a swing at Faith Hill for stealing <laughs> our last name. Faith Evans? <laughs> well, okay. She ain't did nothing. Thank you. This next act has been featured on the cover of over 20 million boxes of cornflakes. Ladies and gentlemen, what? done. Boxes of cornflakes? To oh, Hank okay. Hill, love Winona. Thank you. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna hang this in my garage. That's now nice. you'll think about what I said. I was raised with charcoal. I'll die with charcoal. Oh, shut up! Shut up! I like Muhammad Ali daughter and <laughs> strong face ass. <clears throat> and if she uh, is watching this, I think you have a lovely strong face. It's very proportional. Down at the bottom is more of a square. Top part is more sides, more of a rocky face. Still, still very beautiful. It's just strong, just strong, but still very beautiful. Like Chance the Rapper's wife. Stop, just stop. You know, see, see that's why I always get in trouble with y'all. I get in trouble messing with y'all. Don't say that Chance the Rapper's wife has a strong face. Ex-wife, if I think, if I believe I'm. Maybe not. I don't want to wish that on him. So back off. So, what? Mr. Hill, I'll tip. Super Larson with the Tennessee State Police. We received a tip that your wife, Peggy Hill, might try to harm Mr. Randa Travis. A oh, tip? wow. Who From told who? you that? I did. What? Oh, you wow. Can't do that. I'm sorry, Hank. Your wife's nuts. She's Bro, a, he a snitch. Others. We don't know that. Nobody can really replace Kicks Brooks, but would y'all mind if Randy Travis gave it a try? Oh, Hill, do boy. you know where your wife is? Do you see something, sir? There she is. That's oh, no. Hill. Mrs. Hale. Oh, she no. going to jail, hey, y'all. I thought we agreed you weren't going to come to the final jam concert. I'm here to see Randy Travis. I have something special to give to him. <laughs> oh, God. And hey, you just making it worse. Do you not see the sheriff? Ma'am, I'd like you to come down to the police tent with me. What? Well, I'm here to apologize. Look, I brought him an apple brown Betty. Uh-oh. Homemade. <sighs> All right, you see that? It's just oh, a God. pie. No knife, even. Apple. No, but but the last apple brown Betty was made by, Bobby said it was made by her. Apple said. brown Betty. Kix Brooks was poisoned by a homemade apple brown Betty fitting this description. Peggy, what did he do to you? This is Larson. Oh, my Underneath God. Backup. This is Mockingbird. Who's Larson? What? Please place the fake goods on the table and take a step back, please. Do you have your gun? You ready to draw your gun? Why are you looking at me like that? Randy Travis stole my song, but I am not going to kill him. Yeah. I am not crazy. Well, yeah, uh, Peggy. I, I mean, look like it, though. <laughs> okay. Tell him, Hank. Let's go. He already. You and your hey. brown Betty are coming down to the station. Wait, she's not crazy. I'll just take her home. 
No, we have to test the pie. What if I eat a piece of this brown Betty and I'm okay? Then it'll prove my wife's telling the truth. Yeah, but you know, some things trying to take time to to process through your system. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So it's really don't tell shit. Right? Hank! Don't! It's for Randy Travis. What? Mr. Hill, don't! What? There's already one man in the hospital. Oh no. She did poison it. Now that is a good piece of pie. Yeah, you're gonna be on the shitter for weeks. I tell you what, they ought to change the name to Apple Brown Peggy. Oh, oh shit. It's up. an Apple Brown Betty. I just added Look a at the man. Well, nobody else does that. He mad. Look at the guy. Now Look at the show. I wish that had worked. I <laughs> wish that shit worked for me. I got to take it out to the station and shit for pulling in my own driveway and shit like that. He was like, hey, you don't live here. That's too nice. I'm serious, bro. I was gone from YouTube for like four days. I got to take it to the police station and shit. He said, I'm telling you, bro. I'm not lying. That was a big stutter, but I'm not lying. That shit was piss me off. Piss me off. Even the policemen, even the police officers when I went there, they was treating me nice because they they because they saw what I got booked on and they knew it was some bullshit. But they kept me in there because I had a three hundred dollar <laughs> three hundred dollar fee and shit that I needed to pay for some some parking tickets. I was eating peanut butter and not peanut butter and jelly, some bologna sandwiches and sad ass cake shit for three days. I had a tablet and a jumpsuit and a buck bed. I was pissed. I was so mad, bro. I was sitting there. You know when people sit there and be like, bro, you, yeah, you, you, I didn't do nothing. I was them. I was them. Everybody looking like I was stupid, bro. I'm like, look. I'm gonna fight somebody. In there. I'm gonna fight. The man who taught me just how precious life is. You see, yesterday my trailer fell in the lake, and just as I was freeing myself, I saw this loyal fan drowning in the water nearby, and I saved his life. Wow. I'm bring him up to sing with me. Come on up here, Hank. Are you well, sick? I'll punch him this time. No. Oh my What's God. Lying, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it's always, you know, what, what's really crazy is it's always a problem when it's done to you. It, it, it ain't a problem when, when, when it's happening to somebody else, but when it's happening to you, it's always a problem. You know, that's just, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And <laughs> Hank learned the hard way. I mean, it's, it's hard because you got this woman. She's semi-crazy, but it's your wife. You love her. You kind of crazy. But Hank is just more sane than anybody that I've seen in a cartoon in a while. So it's hard to just believe. But, you know, he just needs to stop confiding in the people. Sometimes you just don't need to tell people anything. You just need to work it out with your spouse and, you know, leave it at that. Because when you can start involving other people, problems arise, things get bigger. They don't know your spouse like you do. They don't know you like your spouse does. So when you start introducing more people into the situation, they start giving their opinions. They start feeling like their opinions are valid. Then they get their emotions into it. Now they feel like their actions are valid because their emotions are caught into it. Now they're doing shit on your behalf that you didn't ask them to do. And it's a problem all the way around. You understand? So anyway, that is what I think. That's how I feel about it, man. But y'all, go down in the comments. Let me know, man. Let me know. Do y'all think... Um, Peggy is a raging narcissist. Um, just let me know down in the comments. I right, love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video.